This is a, a switchable low pass filter that I obtained from AliExpress. It can be operated on the 20, 30, or 40 meter amateur bands. Now, the frequencies associated with these bands 20 meters is a 14 megahertz, 30 meters is 10 megahertz, and 40 meters is 7 megahertz. In all cases, it's a little above the frequencies I gave. And these two switches need to be positioned to select the band desired. As an RF in and RF out, I don't think that matters. I think it's symmetrical. This is the way it was sold on Alley and free shipping. We're going to take a look at my spectrum analyzer. Uh, first thing I should note to you, I've connected the the output from the spectrum analyzer here. So I'll switch this around like this. The input to the spectrum analyzer here. In other words, this is a tracking generator. And this is the input to the spectrum analyzer. And I've got them connected through the T. I'm going to reset the tracking generator to its factory position. A stop frequency of 50 megahertz. So we're sweeping from 5 to 50 megahertz. I'm going to turn on the tracking generator. Turn it on. Now we've got the leads connected together. So I'm going to store that signal. And then I'm going to normalize it. And what it does is it straightens the line out perfectly flat. So now I'm going to insert the uh, filter let me go to uh, markers I'll set the first marker since we have it on the 20 meter band Let's set it for 14 megahertz. So that marker is at 14 megahertz. We'll go to the next marker, 2, and set it at 28, the second harmonic. And we can see the difference between the first and the second marker. is more than 25 decibels. So the 20 meter band sits right here. But it, it tells me there's 5 decibels of insertion loss. Here's 5 megahertz. Marker 1 is down to minus 4, minus 5 decibels. I go to uh, 20 meters, which should be 10 megahertz. I'll reset the I'll reset the marker to ten. I'll reset marker number two to twenty. So marker down, number two is way down here. Marker one, though, is down six decibels. That's a lot of insertion loss for this thing. And I'll lastly go to 40 meters. And 40 meters is 7 megahertz.
and marker number two. We'll set it 14 megahertz. Now at 40 meters, the insertion loss is almost four decibels, and the difference is around 35 dB. So the operating frequency is down here, second harmonic is here, and all the rest are in the dirt. Let me remove the filter and replace it with a dead short. And see both markers are at zero decibels. So this little insertable low pass filter brings along with it a minimum insertion loss of around four to five dB on all bands. That's not very good. But what can you expect for eleven dollars?